please remain seated for the processional of the graduates. Let the ceremony begin. Let us begin with a moment of silence for those members of the UNOH family who have passed away in the last year. Please join me. Thank you. If you are so inclined, I ask you to join me in a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, you are the one without whom nothing is strong. And so, Father, we thank you that you grant us strength. As we celebrate this graduation, Father, we ask you to forgive us for those times when we have made it all about ourselves. And we have, in our pride, said that we can do anything on our own. Father, we know that you are with us. And you have placed so many things in the lives of these graduates, and family and friends who supported them, to professors who treated education not simply as a job, but as a calling, a vocation. And Father, of course, you were with us, and you've been with each of these graduates. You've granted strength when theirs was gone and willingness to continue and persevere when things got tough. And so, Father, in this time, we invite you into this service. We pray, Father, that this will not simply be a time of self-congratulation, but a time of worship, a time to remember all that you have done and all that you have given us, and a time to celebrate your accomplishments in the lives of these graduates. We glorify you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Please be seated. I want to thank God for all of his blessings on the University of Northwestern Ohio and the Northwestern family. I want to recognize all of the veterans and service members in attendance today. Would you please stand up? Let's please give them a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Anyone who is the first person in their family who is graduating here today from UNOH, would you please stand up? Let's give them a round of applause. It is my privilege to welcome all graduates, relatives, and friends to the 102nd University of Northwestern Ohio graduation ceremony. We know how proud you are of your loved one graduating here today. Speaking for the University of Northwestern Ohio's trustees, faculty, and staff, we want all of you to know how proud we are of these graduates today. Most of them are already employed in their chosen career path. Many of them are graduating with honors, and a large percentage of them had perfect attendance during their training. 2022 is one of our largest graduating classes in our history with 903 graduates totaling 1,288 degrees and diplomas. They represent 38 states, Puerto Rico, and 14 countries. UNOH will continue to set the standard for committing to the individual student and growing their curiosity, ability, and potential in order to produce compassionate and successful people. As president of the University of Northwestern Ohio, it is my honor to work with some of the most dedicated and caring educators in the world. The professors whose day-to-day -day teaching and interaction prepare our students for this special day, graduation. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the faculty of the University of Northwestern Ohio. Please stand. Thank you. I want to compliment all of the parents, spouses, and loved ones for your moral and financial support that allowed these graduates to complete their educational goal. I want to compliment our graduates for completing your goal. Your diplomas and degrees are earned success. 
After graduation, continue your education process during your professional career. I hope your time at the University of Northwestern Ohio has benefited your social and emotional growth in addition to your academic growth. I hope you've met some lifetime friends, whether it's a fellow classmate or one of the faculty or staff of UNOH. I am so proud of an extraordinary community of students, teachers, scholars, staff, and alumni who have the heartfelt goal to transform every student's life one by one. UNOH also continues to transform with new technology, new facilities, new majors, and new pathways a student may need to succeed. UNOH will continue to grow the diversity of our student body. We are committed to being a model of diversity and inclusion, not only for ourselves, but also for our community. UNOH will continue to be a life-changing resource for our nation's veterans and will continue to strive to remain a gold-level best college for our veterans, the top award you can receive. The complexity of a modern world demands an evolved university, and the challenges we face as a society demand an enlightened one, a university that uses the inherent good of education to meet the challenges of our time. This is UNOH. To our graduates, always strive to be something bigger than you are. Success involves a sustained, difficult effort to overcome setbacks. Give time to your family, your friends, your spirit, and have proper rest. Opportunities are never lost. The ones you don't take, someone else will. Be kind. Being kind is more important than being right. You can explain success mainly by one word, and that one word is work. Tune out anyone who tries to tell you that your achievements are not your own. Be there lifting up the weak and sharing your blessings with the less fortunate. You will make a difference. Life is about showing up day after day, week after week. People notice when you show up, when you put your head down, when you work hard. You won't always succeed. You won't always be the best, but nothing in life comes easy. So show up, be on time, and be ready to work. Pick out associates whose behavior is better than yours, and you'll drift in that direction. You will falter. You will make mistakes. All of us do. What will keep you going is if you truly love what you're doing. You may not have the connections. You may not have the talent or skill. You may not have the experience. Yet what you do have is time. Time to invest in yourself. Time to improve your skills. To improve your connections. To gain experience. To improve your health and fitness. To learn what you, need, what you don't know besides knowledge, once gained, is the one thing that can never be taken away and is the one thing you can apply to the rest of your life. The most important investment you can make is in yourself. It will produce better long-term results than any other investment you can make. Here is what I wish for you, that you find the passion that I've had and you pursue it that you do what you love and you seek to make a difference in whatever career you pursue. In life, you will realize there is a role for everyone you meet. Some will test you, some will use you, some will love you, and some will teach you lessons. As you leave UNOH, I ask that you dedicate yourself not to only doing well, but doing good and being a good person. You are the future and you have the opportunity to do better and make the world better than, than us before you. Study issues, do research, and make your own informed decisions. Don't follow others, be a leader. Graduation day is a new beginning, another step in the growth of our graduates here today. I hope that you have learned and will continue to throughout your career and life. I wish you success, health, and happiness. 
As a graduate of the University of Northwestern Ohio, you play a major role in developing the future Northwestern with your input, advice, and support. As of today, you will always be a part of the University of Northwestern Ohio family. We will be here when you need us. We are proud of your accomplishments, and we will support you in any way we can to accomplish your future goals. God bless and enjoy this special day, your graduation. Thank you. Good afternoon. I have the distinct pleasure of introducing the UNOH graduation speaker for our 2022 live ceremony, Mr. John Hartman. John was nominated and chosen to speak today by faculty and staff because of his diligence in the classroom and his service to the University of Northwestern Ohio community. Ironically, this is not John's first experience under the spotlight. In fact, if you're interested and you want to surf a little bit on YouTube, you might come across some old reruns of America's Funniest Home videos where there's a little bit of a video that'll make you smile. While he didn't win, it's all right, his spotlight uh, time did not end there. So John began his collegiate career here studying in automotive high performance and then continued his learning into the business administration degree. Along that journey, he received high marks in the classroom and high regards from his instructors. John was one of the students that you would see in, the conver in a conversation with his instructors after class. You could really tell that they were having a genuine chat either about the course, connecting concepts and concepts between knowledge and, and uh, skills, or just talking about weekend plans and what experiences they have in their respective lives. A true, genuine relationship. He's a great example of a lifelong learner, gathering all the applied and knowledge-based skills that he could to make his studies connect with his future ambitions. These qualities help John with other experiences under the spotlight, such as being a member of the UNOH motorsport team, the American Marketing Association Club President, and driving for Monster Jam. But that's his story to tell, so stay tuned. To John's parents, thank you. Thank you for raising a young man who's had a very positive impact on our university. I know that you are very proud of his efforts today, and I have a feeling that uh, pride will continue uh, with John's next steps. In fact, John will be moving on and moving forward with his degrees and experience in business and automotive high performance. He's got a couple of job opportunities that I know he's milling around with and considering even as we call him to the podium. So I, along with the rest of us here at UNOH, look forward to hearing of John's success with his UNOH degree. So John, thank you for your service to the University of Northwestern Ohio and thank you for being a model student. Class of 22, you guys know him. Many of you have probably met him at some point in time throughout your years here. So now he represents all of you with these next remarks. So, Ladies and gentlemen, John Hartman. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, students, instructors, professors, and staff, my name is John Hartman. I've come across many of you throughout my experience here at UNOH. I have many friends who are attending graduation today, and, and some that have already graduated and found success in their careers. The memories I formed here are ones I will never forget. From my experience pursuing my high performance motorsports technology degree, to my experience on the UNOH motorsports team, to my experience pursuing my specialized studies and business administration degrees, and finally, my experience as president of the UNOH American Marketing Association organization on campus. You know, it has allowed me to pursue various career paths and opportunities. Now I'm very honored to have been chosen for those opportunities, such as UNOH Engine Teardown Team, Power Nation TV, SEMA, US All Tech Competition, and Monster Jam. Without these connections and opportunities, I would not have been able to achieve these great goals. But these opportunities don't come freely. It takes time dedication, motivation, and perseverance. All of us have had those nights where we'll stay up past late, past midnight, studying for a test the next day, or getting a lot of our various homework done. 
Also, putting in, in viable training hours to master the test offs in class. Additionally, our time we invested in extracurricular activities around campus and gained more knowledge in those certain fields. All of you and myself have invested hundreds of hours into our educations. And today, all that struggle and sacrifice comes to fruition. But sometimes, the harshness of the college grind makes us forget just the awesome and fun memories that we all shared together. It can be laughs shared at events at Racer Station, such as playing eye racing or cornhole, which it can really get really fun and competitive there too. Or the days working on project cars, or the summer days hosting barbecues, or the cold winter days hanging with friends, or having a drink with the bros, but it has to be off campus, of course. Or the hilarious conversations with instructors and professors, like Mr. Vaughn's camping trips, or business side Mr. Pullman's international business adventures. Whatever the season or occasion, we have made many great memories with a lot of people and friends, some of whom we can call friends for life. But just because our college journey ends here, it doesn't mean our experiences and friendships end here as well. We have a new chapter in life upon us, and it's our time to take it, just like how we all took the opportunity to, for higher education and succeeded. To all my fellow students here, it is our time as racers to go out and achieve great success, to land our dream jobs and have and be successful in life. All of our career paths may be different, but we're all racers, united by our passion and love for our career industries. Our race to win can be landing that sales and marketing job or landing that automotive or diesel technician job. Our achievements and success are our own victories. Now, I want to give this time to thank the many instructors, professors, and staff that's really influenced our college journey in a positive and impactful way. To all the applied technology instructors, I thank you. To all the College of Business professors, I thank you. To all the health professions professors, I thank you. And to all the staff, leaders, and everyone else I may be forgetting, I thank you. Your hard work and dedication to your students does not go unnoticed. Your teachings and guidance have helped us to shape who we are and what jobs we are pursuing. Now, racers, it is our time to shine. Go get that job. Go make that money. Go make more awesome experiences and be that successful person that you want to be. And always remember, once a racer, always a racer. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> John, that was a wonderful speech. Thank you very much. Um, completing a college degree or diploma is a significant achievement. Currently, less than half the U.S. population holds an associate degree or higher. The students on stage today are distinguishing themselves by attaining a college degree. This achievement will provide them greater opportunity for themselves and their families as they enter the workforce and move into the future. As such, the board of directors, the administration, the faculty, and staff of the University of Northwestern Ohio wish to congratulate and applaud the class of 2022. At this time, I ask President Jarvis and the deans of the colleges to begin awarding the degrees and diplomas First, the candidates will rise, and then the processional to receive degrees will begin. Michael Miller, a member of the University of Northwestern Ohio family, will read each student's name. If I get that opening sheet, we're right here. No graduates, so I move to Tim, College of Business. I do. Under the direction of Dean Tim Fitzpatrick, will the candidates from the College of Business please rise.
Very good. That's first one. Alia Alanis Alexis. Anna Elizabeth Bartley. Gustavo Moses Bessa. Graduating cum laude, Kiana Ann Brown. Eric Jesus Castro Ayala. David de Aguavive Montserrat. Joel Rupp de Paeva. Isaac Golson Jr. Graduating summa cum laude, Brady William Hipsher. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Lindsay Jan Holland. Ryan James Jungbauer. Graduating cum laude, Jordan K. Krismanich. Graduating magna cum laude, Noah Cecil Vincent London. <laughs> Alyssa Chloe Marker. Graduating magna cum laude, Mark Hugh McCauley. Kimira Alicia McGee. Zach Thomas Montz. Graduating cum laude, Jonathan Stephen Nieto Penon. <laughs> Rania Sophia Orpo. <laughs> Christian Gabriel Perez. Alexa Renee Perry. Chloe Dion Reigns. Andre Felipe Fiera Rodriguez. Marcos Javier Salazar Paredes. Graduating cum laude, Mackenzie A. Seip. Kristen Casey Johnson. Adam P. W. Udenberg. Caitlin Mary Knapp. Pablo Salinas Sanchez. And, I'm watching, I'm watching. and that completes the presentation of candidates from the College of Business.
Now presenting the candidates from the College of Health Professions. Shayla Renee Munyon. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Bailey A. Pennington. <laughs> Rachel Elizabeth Brees. Jersey Frazier. Graduating cum laude, Brandy L. Miller. Allison G. Williams. And that completes the presentation of candidates from the College of Health Professions. <laughs> now presenting the candidates from the College of Occupational Professions, Taya T. Bell. <laughs> Allison Lynn Black. Graduating cum laude, Gage William Childs. William G. Clune. Jason L. Cross. Allie Nicole Cumming. Mamadou Diallo. Basketball. <laughs> Brayden Charles Gross. <laughs> Trevor G. Jones. Kara J. Klein. Natalie Marie McKismiak. Graduating cum laude, Gemma Ruiz Garcia. Brianna Renee Smallwood. Agnes Berta Steffens Daughter. <laughs> Ryan Istvan Tanto. Tyler Alexander Zaremka. Graduating cum laude, Matilda Julie Croesus. Julia Ann Eubank. Andrea De Jesus Gonzalez. Graduating cum laude, Riley Marie Hahnemann. Ethan C. Hunt. Taylor Lee Kennard. Owen Maximilian Poichol.
Allison Christine Russo. Mason William Tadena. And that completes the presentation of candidates from the College of Occupational Professions. <laughs> Under the direction of Dean Kevin Meager and Dean Robert Marshall, will the candidates from the College of Applied Technologies rise and step forward. Graduating cum laude, Gregory J. Hill II. James Ryan Hughes. Michael L. Ratlin. Daniel H. Agol. <laughs> Carlos Angeles. <laughs> Benjamin Edward Anton. Reese James Baker. Derek Robert Bandini. Graduating cum laude, Gerald McGuire Barney. Jonathan Wayne Bates. Matthew P. Biddle. Mitchell Anthony Birchmeyer. Mason Richard Bauk. Graduating cum laude, Walter Robert Briggs. Dayan Yancey Brinkley. Braden Ezekiel Brommer. Bradley Thomas Brooks. Graduating cum laude, Ben Josiah Brumfield. Severin Timothy Berg. Connor James Canfield. Reed Freedom Carr. Jacob Andrew Klupper. Graduating magna cum laude, Raphael R. Confessor. Graduating cum laude, Zach Frank Crandall. Jared Clark Cruz. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Graduating cum laude, Cody Michael Dirksen. Garrett Michael Duminoy. Tristan K. Durante. Ethan W. Dyke. Frank Chandler Evans, Jr. <clears throat> Matthew Dorsey Pfeiffer. Graduating cum laude, Dylan M. Finnegan. Shelby Fisher. Michael Roland Freeze. Graduating cum laude, Hunter William Gibson. Graduating magna cum laude, Randy George Giroux. Duway Yair Gonzalez Cardenas. Graduating cum laude, Anthony Thomas Goshorn. Rev Justice Rand Greenwald. Trent Joseph Graycheck. Joshua Robert Grimes. Graduating cum laude, Jacob Marvin Grossman. Andrew Robert Hanley. Jason Chance Harlan. Christopher Michael Harrison. Clay W. Hedrick. John E. Henderson. Grant Marshall Hendricks. Jordan Lee Henretta. Zachary Ryan Henson. Michael Caleb Hines. Nicholas David Horsley. Maverick Paul Hoskin. (laughs) 
Ben Jacob Shum. Nathaniel Lee Shepard. David Ibarra. Colton Aaron Hersey. Graduating magna cum laude, Keon Edward Jenkins. Zachary Nelson Jenkins. Chandler Robert Jewell. Ryan Christopher Keller. Joseph Edley Kenton. Zachary Michael Kessinger. Daniel A. Kimes. Justin Alexander McGlinchey. Colby Robert Meeker. Graduating cum laude, Cynthia Eve Mendez. Sarah Ann Metzger. Jordan Alexander Miller. Craig James Minor. <laughs> Timothy Alexander Monroe. Devin Victor Munyon. Jalen Robert Hines. Dennis Albert Nolan. Hunter James Willett. Blake Richard Pace. Graduating cum laude, Evan Carlo Palmer. Daniel Pathak. Joshua Arthur Pizak. Ryan Matthew Rankin. Tristan Robert Rose. Sebastian Andrew Salgado. Allison Marie Sanford. Jareth San Juan Gonzalez.
graduating cum laude, Dylan Wayne Schultz. Wesley Harlan Sniffin. Tyler James Snodsmith. Graduating cum laude, Denver Nathan Stabe. Stephen John Thomas. Hunter Edward Thompson. Carlos S. Torado, Jr. Haley Renee Toomey. Tyra A. Townsend. Tyler J. Trask. Travis Wayne Trigger. Austin Michael Smith. Austin Lee Truitt. Colin Thomas Tubbs. Connor Allen Vincent. James M. Vizlocki. Graduating cum laude, Christopher Martin Wagner. Clark Morris Walker III. Derek James Walterman. Austin Thomas Wenzel. Daniel David Wilson. Zachary Anthony Winnick. Logan Pryor Woods. Jonathan Paul Fecto. Cody R. Hale. Stephen Craig Smith. Seth Edward Cummins. Dylan Peter Iwanski. Caden Scott Lancaster. Matthew, correction, Marcus Matthew McKelvey. Yeah. 
Anthony Alberto Moroli. Camden Eric Rogers. Christopher Danvel Wolford. Jacob Walter Sherman. Ronald Joseph Swiecki Jr. And that completes the candidates from the College of Applied Technologies. All right, before we make this official, I want to hear that horn one more time start this off. Come on. Where's it at? Good man. You ready? All right. Here we go. By the recommendation of the faculty of the University of Northwestern Ohio, and by the authority vested in me by the state of Ohio and the university's board of trustees, I award you the degrees and diplomas you receive today and all the rights and privileges thereof. Graduates, would you please stand? Move your tassels from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of 2022. Hang on a minute. I would ask everyone now stand for a benediction. If you are so inclined, please join me in prayer. Father God, you have told us that from those who have been given much, much will be expected. Lord, you have not said it's okay to break even. You've not given us the right to simply get by, to take care of ourselves, but you've called us to more than that, to give beyond what we have received. And so, Father, we pray your commission upon these graduates, that they will go forth to do more than just get by, to do more than just care for themselves, but to look to their neighbor, to love the way that you have loved, to love their neighbor as themselves to care for those around them. Father, I pray this commission follow them every day of their lives. They will seek to show your grace and your kindness in this world. In all things, we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. You may sit. <laughs> this concludes the 2022 commencement ceremonies for the University of Northwestern Ohio. Please remain in your seats until the graduates have exited the auditorium.